Hi guys, welcome to Only Maths Tutorial Point. Today we are going to discuss chapter polynomials, exercise 3.4, page number 74, second sum. So what is given here? Check in which case the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. Okay, so they give three sums here. Let me solve three sums. So what is first one given? Given polynomial p of x equal to 2x power 4 plus 3t sorry 2t power 4 plus 3t power 3 minus 2t square minus 90 minus 12 and g of x equal to t, t square minus 3 okay first we have to consider uh, we have to see whether the given uh, polynomial is in the standard form or not okay so what is given here uh, the p of x is uh, the powers are in the descending order therefore this is in the standard form okay what about g of x g of uh, g of x is not in a standard form we have to convert into g into standard form here the square term is there there is no t term right so power should be in decreasing order there is no power one term here so keep with zero coefficient i have mentioned here t square plus zero t minus three this is as it is because it is in the standard form okay for t square what we have to multiply to become 2t power 4 so t square into 2t square it become 2t power 4 now 0t into 2 square is 0t cube okay minus 3 into 2t square is minus 6t square you completed this first step now change the signs because we are doing subtraction here so it become minus minus and minus become plus so cancel this unlike terms so 3 you will get 3 here here 6 minus 2 is 4 so take the next up minus 90 again t square for t square what we have to multiply to become 3 t cube <coughs> t square plus 3 t it become 3 t square okay 0 t into 3 t it become 0 t square minus 3 into 3 t is minus 90 okay now again this step was come came into end now while doing subtraction the signs will be different plus becomes minus plus become minus and minus become plus so cancel the unlike terms so 4 minus 0 is 4 this minus 10 plus t get cancelled okay take down the last term that is minus 12 okay for t square what we should multiply to become 4 t square we have to multiply 4 so it become 4 t square again with 0 no value here so minus 3 into 4 is minus 12 okay now all terms are different therefore it becomes zero when the remainder is zero then we can say that the given polynomial is a factor of next factor the first polynomial is a factor of second polynomial or second polynomial is a factor of first polynomial the remainder is zero else else the first polynomial is not a factor of second polynomial or second polynomial is not a factor of first polynomial okay we go for the second sum okay i have mentioned here the remainder is zero then p of x is divided by g of x therefore t square minus c is the factor of the given polynomial now coming to second sum what is given p of x is 3 x power 4 plus 5 x cube minus 7 x square plus 2 x plus 2 and g of x is x square plus 3 x plus 1 so here both are in the standard form how we can identify whether the given polynomial is in the standard form the power should be in the decreasing order Okay, here both are in a decreasing order therefore the both p of x and g of x are in a or in the standard form now we can solve the sum so take the g of x as a divisor and the p of x as a dividend now solve for x square what we should multiply to become 3x power 4 x square into 3x square it become 3x power 4 okay 3x into 3x square it become 9x cube and 1 into 3x square is 3x square now we conclude this step by doing a subtraction the signs will be differ plus becomes minus this big plus become minus and plus become minus this 3x power 4 get cancelled now minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4 minus 7 minus 6 is minus 10 take the third term that is 2x again for x square what we should multiply to become 4x cube minus 4x cube is minus 4x okay now plus 3x into minus 4x that is minus 2x square plus 1 into 4x minus 4x that is minus 4x 
we conclude this step now again while doing the subtraction the signs will be differ become plus minus become plus minus become plus so cancel the unlike terms now minus 10 plus 12 is 2 okay 2 plus 4 is 6 take down the last term that is 2 again for x square what we should multiply to become 2 so just 2 isn't it 2 into x square to x square again 3 into 2 is 6x 1 into 2 is 2 here all the signs are same because while doing a subtraction the signs will be different therefore all get cancelled so remainder we got 0 if remainder is 0 means what what that indicates the first polynomial is a fact of second polynomial or the second polynomial is a fact of the first polynomial that only i have mentioned here okay okay we go for this third sum what is given guys here given polynomial is p of x equal to x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square x square plus 3x plus 1 and g of x equal to x cube minus 3x plus 1 we have to divide p of x divided by g of x take g of x as a divisor and p of x as a dividend but before that we should see the given polynomial is in the standard form or not see the g of x the powers are not in the decreasing order therefore this is not in the standard form converting into standard form by taking power 2 with 0 coefficient <coughs> sorry x cube plus 0 x square minus 3x plus 1 and this is in the standard form because the powers are in the decreasing order right so right as it is sorry power 4 is not not there right so we have to keep with 0 coefficient now x power, x power 5 plus 0 x power 4 minus 4 x cube plus x square plus 3 x plus 1 that is a p of x now for x cube what we should multiply to become x power 5 x square 0 into x square is 0 minus 3 x into x square is minus 3 x cube 1 into x square is x square now while doing the subtraction signs will be different so plus x minus x x power 5 get cancelled x power 4 x power also get cancelled so minus 4 plus 3 is x minus 1 so x square x square also get cancelled now what is left out 3x is left out take down that term and also plus 4 also you can take now for x cube what we should multiply to become minus x cube just minus 1 okay x cube into minus 1 is minus x cube 0 into minus x cube is 0 so i did not mention here so 0 when you multiply with 0 to any term any term it will be 0 right so minus 3x into minus 1 is plus 3x plus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 now here all get cancelled except the constant term because the signs will be differ here we got the same here for, for constant term so it becomes true the remainder is not equal to 0 then we can say that the the given polynomial c is not the factors to each other therefore g of x is not a factor of the p of x okay guys so when the sum is given uh, in the exam so better follow the same step and the write the statement also here if it, it is remainder is zero then it is a factor if not then it is not a factor steps is important guys instead of the answer okay i hope you understand this sum please go through all the three sums in the next video i'm going to cover with the second next sum thank you for watching